So the next thing I want to do is I'm getting started with Gog Land. I don't know why they called it Gog Land. Maybe that has some mythological reference. I'm going to have to look that up. I'm just going to keep saying that. Yeah. But uh, I have a font that I like to use. And uh, I forget where I found this font. But this font in my editor, this font was rated as being really highly readable. A very highly readable font. And so people have commented off, often, Todd, where did you get that font? And I said, man, my font, that's my font, baby. I don't know where I got it. But here's where you can get it. That's the short URL. So goo.gl forward slash m5, which only is auspicious. One lowercase n, capital N, and x. If you go to that URL, that's going to take you to uh, this font right here. And bitstream vera mono, vera mono zip. Okay. And so uh, I'm pretty sure that the licensing on that is in there. So I downloaded it already. I'm just going to unzip it. There it is. And here's the copyright README. And let's see what it says about the copyright because I might be deleting this video. Um, Bitstream fonts have been generous copyright allowing derivative works. Uh, they can be bundled. Fonts are distributed on the flying with copyright. All right. But, but permission is hereby granted free of charge to any person obtaining a copy of the fonts accompanying this license. Uh, to reproduce, distribute the font software, including that limitation, right to use, copy, merge. So it looks pretty good. So I've got that font right there. I now need to install this font on my computer. And uh, there's different choices here. Uh, we have Vera, Mo, BD, BL, LT, Mono. And so I'm just going to, you know, those are like maybe bold. I'm not sure what the BL would be. Uh, bold italics, so bi bold italics, and then uh, ita just italics, not bold, and then mono. And so to install these on my computer, and it's like this in Windows too, you just double click them, and you choose install font. And so that just installed on my computer. Cool. And I'm going to install the rest of these too. Install. Cool. And install. Cool, and then install. Cool. So now I want to tell my editor to use that font. So I'm going to go to my editor, and I think I'll probably have to restart. But go into Preferences, and then search for Font. And then here inside Font, I just choose Font. And Primary Font, and I look for Vera Monospace. I don't see it, right? I have monospace, but I don't have a Vera. So I'm going to cancel this and clo close down my editor and then restart it. And let's see if in the restart it picks it up. So font Minlo, and we have monospaced P. Come here and source code and bitstream vera sans mono it's under bitstream so maybe it was there before but i don't think so but bitstream vera sans mono sweet i'm going to make that like size 18 just so it's a little bit more readable for people 24 that's pretty big you guys like 24 you probably like 24 we'll see what uh 18 how 18 works 18 is pretty good in here Probably a little bit more readable on screen with 24. So we'll go with 24. And now we could open up a file and just take a look. So that's a lot bigger. That's a lot nicer. Next thing I want to do is I want to change my color scheme. And I'll do that in the next video. I'll show you how to get a different color theme on uh, JetBrains products.